Hi friends, Fire on Pop here. And today I have uh, something to go over with you on a more serious note. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, video, video to draw or not to draw. This is the question. Now, you're going to be seeing me uh, referring to my notes here because uh, this is the first video that I've scripted only because uh, it's important and I didn't want to, uh, when I finished it, say, oh, I forgot. <laughs> okay? So, uh, uh, you're going to see me uh, glancing down at my notes quite often. So, let's get back to the topic at hand. To draw or not to draw, this is the question. Um, in life, we make many split-second split decisions. Uh, when we're young, we go for our first kiss on a, with a pretty girl, and uh, yes or no, worst case, uh, we get slapped. Best case, well, you know the answer to that one, okay? Um, <clears throat> buy that new gun on impulse or save the money. Many of us go wrong here. I guess it's in our genes. And uh, the light turning red, gas, brake. Uh, I'm sure all of us had those close calls, and even uh, some that didn't uh, end up so pretty with the ticket or a crash. Uh, but the list goes on and on. Uh, more so today, to draw or not to draw that weapon, this is the question. Uh, your choice could affect your life forever, whether you fire a shot or not. Okay. Even if you feel justified in defending yourself, uh, was the use of lethal force necessary? That is the question. Was the, for, was the use of lethal force necessary? Uh, the answer to this may haunt you for a long time, if not forever. Uh, it may put you in jail, it may bankrupt you, your family, or even worse. Uh, you must have these de decisions planted in your brain before you leave your house with your gun. Okay? My purpose here is not to make you hesitate because that could be disastrous for you for your loved ones or others. Okay. How can we be sure the use of force was justified? And how do you know how you will react? And that that really is one of the big questions. How do you know how you're going to react? Um, sometimes uh, I, I worry about that. Okay. Do you peer into your crystal ball every morning before you leave home to see what's going to happen that day? I wish we had that. Uh, after the fifth grade do-overs are not allowed anymore. Okay, once that bullet leaves your barrel, there's no recalling it. Uh, when the uh, shit hits the fan, strange things begin to happen to your body, least of which is tunnel vision. Okay. I know this from experience. I, I had a, a hunting situation once. Uh, I was out hunting alone. It was one of the first times. This is going back uh, almost 35 years ago. And uh, I finally saw a deer, and I was tracking it, and it was coming closer, and I was waiting, and it was shotgun season, so I was, I was holding a shotgun at the time with a, a slug in it, and uh, uh, the deer started moving away from me, so I knew that, that was the closest he was going to get, so I took my shot, and uh, after I took my shot, the, well, the deer ran off because I did not hit it, uh, but then I looked, and, and behind the deer was a house, and I was scared. I thought, oh, jeez, I could have killed someone or uh, but damage properties, to say the least, uh, or kill someone. Uh, I was very fortunate that I did not hit the house or anything near it. Uh, but that was a scary situation. So the, the point of that story is we do get tunnel vision, and we focused on, on the threat, uh, focused on the, uh, on the game, and we don't see any, anything around it. That's one of the reasons why when before you holster your gun, you, you should take a good look around to make sure that you've, uh, uh, there are no other threats available. <clears throat> okay. The only way to prepare, uh, for the, to prepare yourself okay, for that is evaluating your motives, okay, studying, and practice. Okay. Let's take each of these and explore them a little bit. Evaluating your motives of what more can I say? Why do you carry a gun? Okay. Are you trying to be John Wayne, Clint Eastwood? Or are you concerned that uh, for you and your loved ones own safety? Okay. Only you can answer this. Okay. Be truthful to yourself. Okay. For me, it, it was the decision to carry a gun was uh, as I was uh, getting older, uh, I found that I was more vulnerable and uh, heard uh, some frequent attacks on older people because uh, uh, 
some kids want to make a YouTube video of uh, them beating up an older guy with a 2x4. And I just swore that, that would never happen to me. So that was my deciding point and one of the main reasons I carry a gun. Okay. So, and <clears throat> the other part of this is study. What reading do you do? There is more to learning than watching YouTube videos, okay? Although uh, there are some very good and helpful videos out there, like mine, of course. Uh, well, only by studying some cause and effect can you begin to condition your mind to be prepared for the constantly expand your knowledge base. Okay, remember, it's going to be a split-second decision. Do I draw my gun or not? What are your state laws? Does your state have a castle doctrine? What is the Castle Doctrine, and what are its limits? Okay, how far close does your attacker have to be for to, to be legal to shoot? Okay, and what is muscle memory? Okay, now practice more than just putting some holes in paper. Can you shoot in the dark? Can you reload blindfolded? Can you field strip your weapon blindfolded? Do you need to know how to do that? Can you hit a moving target? How often do you practice? How many times do you have to do something uh, to have good mu muscle memory? In other words, how many, how many times do you have to repeat something where you will do it uh, with good muscle memory? Okay. In discussing this with a friend, a woman's world, one, two, three, she adds the following. Wow, I was sitting in my sister's house today when we were talking about the things we learned in our concealed carry uh, class. And we were reflecting on our instructor's warnings of using deadly force. He said that if you pull your gun, it better be in a commission of a crime, and you better know that your life is in jeopardy before you pull that trigger. Or just what I was saying. He also said that if uh, you shoot someone, better unload the mag in him, as not give him a chance to recover, retaliate, or sue. And she adds laughing out loud. But most importantly, he said, Whatever decision you make, you better be able to live with it. And, and that's another big consideration. You're going to be able to live with the consequences. We had a major debate in this very same issue. Wow, I guess we all think the same things when it comes to using our weapons. The most important, uh, we talked about the simple issue of a gun only <clears throat> being as good as you, as, as you can get it to, to be. So often in a situation, people are taken by surprise and you can't even get to your lifeline, meaning you're gone. Wow, what then? I can't believe you sent this out. It amazes me that you thought of this. The very night we had a major family discussion in reference to using deadly force and brandishing a weapon in public. That's crazy. I also can't believe that you that you titled it either. It was getting it was getting ready to go to the motorcycle ride to do my first vlog. When those bikers that constantly post crap no one really cares to hear during their biking blogs. The title of my video is to vlog or not to vlog. That is the question. So, Lamo, you took my thoughts and you put them to a title that uh, I had already. Uh, what are you, a mind reader? I'm honestly shocked. You can see how, you, how this throws me a bit. My opinion is this. If you can avoid using deadly force, then avoid it but always be prepared to protect yourself at any cost. Also, when brandish your weapon, unless you know it's a certain situation is not in your favor, how do you do this? Will you always remain uh, cognizant of and aware of your surroundings and those uh, that are near you? Body movements, eye contact, body language, and, and the location where you're in will tell a lot about what comes next. If you're in a bank and someone's uh, acting strange and uh, will not give eye contact, but they are pre pressed in a suspicious, dressed in a suspicious manner, you should position yourself in an area where the way out, <coughs> and, and you won't be an easy target. If you're at an ATM and your actions will be drastically different, it all depends on your location and the threat of danger. Your home is another story altogether. I believe if someone infiltrates your castle in an effort to do you or your family harm, then you stop that threat immediately. Most criminals have one intent, and that is to get what they came in for, and if you get in their way, they will eliminate you. Finally, you're right, practice makes permanent. Muscle memory and brain awareness is important 
<coughs> to how uh, effective you will be when to draw your weapon. It is also important to know that the laws and how far you can push your envelope if you had to. I find myself looking over my shoulders more often than not nowadays. Things are bad and people are in a bad place and will gladly hurt you to get what they need. Crime is on the rise in the economy. Looks like it will get worse before it gets better. Gas prices are creeping up and more each week and jobs are still hard to find. I think we all should be prepared for any case scenarios that means even taking a life if someone is trying to take ours. I am a Christian and I love the Lord God and I am a firm believer in that if uh, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Therefore I live by the word of God, but if someone tries to end my days before it's time, I will be forced to stop them and pray about it later. That's just my opinion. Well, <clears throat> it was shocking to see your private message just as I was discussing this very uh, thing earlier. I guess great minds think alike. Talk to you soon. Signed, A Woman's World 123. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that input. Uh, she put a lot of effort into that. So in a recent article um, from the USCCA, that's the United States Concealed Carry Association, says, quote, there is, <clears throat> here's the thing, there's a lot of tough decisions that we all need to have settled in our minds before we ever need to use our handgun for self-defense. One of this, one of them is, are you going to survive a deadly encounter with a hardened criminal? Are you willing to do whatever, uh, whatever it takes to protect those in your charge who depend on you to, to survive in a, and win a real-life gunfight? I hope your knee-jerk reaction is, of course, and this may sound silly, but does your mind truly believe that you will be that you will win a gunfight? I hope. Uh, let me stop there. As you can see, we can get deep really, really fast. Okay. Unquote. Uh, becoming a member of the NRA and organizations like the U.S. Uh, CCA, United States Concealed, will help you understand your role with a handgun. I invite your comments, pro, con and uh, your personal stories below in the comment section or in a video response. We can all learn from each other, your personal experiences uh, and how you feel about this topic. I, I think we can all really learn a lot from each other here. This video should be a starting point for some good discussion. Keep it clean and on point. I reserve the right to delete any off topic, off topic or off color material. Okay. Come back often and see the new comments as they are posted. And uh, as always, this is Fire on Pop. Be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now.